Art with Tessie. And today I'm trying this angle so you can see a little bit of my Christmas tree. I bet you wonder by now, well Tessie, haven't you ran out of things to say on a heart to heart? I like to talk. Anybody who knows me personally knows that I love to talk. I could talk about anything and everything in my life and talk about anything and everything in the news and things like that. I don't really talk a lot about um, politics and I don't really talk a lot about that kind of thing. But I do have my opinions on life. But I come to you in my heart to hearts and just share with you what's on my heart this week. This week went really fast. And this was a good week and I enjoyed every video I've made and coming into your house every week. I know a lot of you watch me early in the morning and I know a lot of you watch me with your breakfast and you sit and drink your coffee while you listen to me and you often tell me how it feels like I'm sitting right there in your living room with you and that's what I like about it I think that's neat when you say that I almost envision sitting with you and enjoying a conversation with you sometimes YouTube can be really frustrating because I feel like you're all watching me and I really want to reach out to you in a more tangible way well, it's impossible, I know. I can't sit in everyone's living room. I believe this year, this Christmas is one of the best Christmases I ever had. I've had years where my Christmases were very hard. I've had years where I cried on Christmas for one reason or another. I've had years like you that were good years and years that were bad years. But every year I've learned something through it. I'm one that likes to think about things and analyze them and write them down and jot them out and all that. And I think more of Christmas as just the end of the year and the beginning of a new year. I always love new beginnings. I love Mondays because it's new. I like the seasons that change because it's new. I like New Year's Day. Always love New Year's Day more than any other day of the year. Simply a day where I can just clean the slate and start anew. I know every morning we can do that. We had two losses in our life at the same year and Christmas was hard. Some years our Christmases were not very special. Some years, our Christmases were very hard. My husband lost his father and his mother all within the same year. That was very difficult for us. Some years, we had sadness. We had financial struggles. Some years, we had to go through changes in our life. But every year, it's a lesson and things that we can learn from it. This has been a good year for me. In 2007, I had a life-threatening emergency, which I have a video on. In 2014, I had another emergency. I got pancreatitis. Same year in 2014, I had Lyme's disease. I had the bullseye rash and got very sick from it. 2014 was a rough 2007, year. we had to change our whole life. 2018. 2018 is a good year. Oh yes, I had some sadness, but it was very minor compared to the things I've gone through in my life. So I look back on 2018 with all of you, it was a good year. It was a year of a lot of work, a lot of videos, but it's been such a wonderful blessing to me. As you know, I just ex experienced my two-year anniversary here on YouTube and that was shared on Friday and that's almost as like a heart-to-heart -heart, but I want it to be a totally special video so what am I looking forward to this year this coming year I always use a word that is for my word and last year my words were be myself and be inspired and boy, I think I did that. I think I was myself and I was surely inspired. 
The year before that was the year of peace and grace. I don't know what this year is yet. I can't quite pinpoint it. But I promise I will know by the first of the year. I don't know what I want this year to be. I go into a lot of thought on it. It could be perseverance, because I sure had a lot of that. I don't know. What do I want this year to be, this coming year? I want it to be about more about living with what you have in life. So many people shoot high for these dreams. But somebody told me, which was an amazing thing, they said, Tessie, shoot for the stars, but keep your feet planted on earth. And that is a really amazing statement. We can shoot for the stars and we can have our goals and our mind way up there but remember to keep our feet planted on the ground and that's what I want to do. I want to have more of money saving ideas. There's not a lot I know about in life but I do know about living very frugal. I've lived it my whole life no matter what I was always a frugal person. Me, personally, was I'm always a frugal person. I've had to really be frugal for some years. My debt-free story of how we went hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt and paid them all off without any assistance or help. We lived on barely nothing, but those years taught me a lot. It taught me what really matters in life. So this year, coming year, will be more of the same. It's me. It's just my everyday life. I chronicalize my life on YouTube. It is a living diary of my life. It's a living testimony of what I've gone through. It's a living testimony of where I'm going. I'm free to be me and not back down from it. I'm free to do what my heart tells me to do. They say you should not always follow your heart and I'm a little bit conflicted in that because I believe that you should follow your heart. They say your heart can deceive you but I find that the more I'm in tune with my heart the less my heart does deceive me. In fact I don't believe my heart deceives me at all. I think you should follow your heart more than your mind in my case because if I follow what I'm thinking sometimes I would do things that I know I shouldn't but if I follow my heart I know deep in my heart that I've done what is right so maybe you can explain to me do you follow your heart or do you follow your mind for me as an empath I will always follow my heart because my mind will play tricks on me but my heart never lies does your heart ever lie are you like me? Do you follow your heart? Or are you an analytic kind of person who you follow your brain and your mind? We're all made up with different chemistry and we're all made up with different love gifts. Mine is my heart. Mine is mercy. Mercy is my love gift. What's yours? Have you figured it out yet? Maybe you have a lot of them. Some people say my love gift is encouragement. I don't know because a lot of you encourage me so I know a lot of your gifts are encouragement as well almost everybody who comments me is encouraging so maybe you're all empaths too and feel deeply the feelings of others I don't find it a curse at all in fact I find it a big blessing because in feeling other people's pains and hurts it's become part of me and it's who I am and I see people for who they are. I hope you have a great Christmas. I will have a special video on Christmas Day. And no matter what your Christmas looks like, maybe you don't have a tree, maybe you don't have a present under your tree, maybe you don't have loved ones and maybe you're alone, just remember, even though you think you may be alone, you're never alone. There's always somebody who knows what you're going through because they're going through it as well. Take care everybody and we'll see you guys tomorrow.